welcome to part two. That was a horrible night. This is rock hard. My back is knackered. Got about two hours sleep. Every time a car went past, it did wake me up. Bad rocks. Not in a good way. <sighs> I am so tired. But hey ho, work to do. All right, let's see what adventures the new day will bring, huh? Whoa. Ah, it's bright, but it's, oh, it's cold. That's one thing about this whole van camping thing. It's kind of hit me first. And it's the first thing that's, that always hits me. And it's, it's a psychological thing. And bear with me here, bear with me. I had a theory. I was, it's nice not being involved with the world's burdens. Not, not turning, you know, one's back on the world, especially in stuff like in what's going on in Ukraine, but just all of the other stuff that we are bombarded with on our phones and our devices and every single little thing which is going on in the world. And being in this environment, I don't have that. I don't have my phone. I don't pick my phone up to see what's, what's happened in the world. I open the door and I look at the view. That's the first thing I do and I take a breath. And, and I enjoy it, I enjoy it thoroughly. And it was only a couple of hundred years ago that we, we didn't know what happened in the village next to us. We had no idea. Now, let alone a city or a town, people just, thousands of years of, of not knowing, of just taking care of what's in front of you uh, and taking care of what's in your own little bubble. And now all of a sudden, and it has been so quick, we are just bombarded with this deluge of, of worldly affairs. And I just think that perhaps we are not equipped for that yet. And we're still programmed to appreciate this a little bit more. And that's gonna be the whole vibe of today's video. Disconnection, societal disconnection. Gypsies had it right, didn't they? The old gypsies, they were awesome. Metal detecting, finding old bits of history, connecting myself to those pieces of history, getting my hands dirty without worrying about what the hell is going on a thousand miles that way right before i lavish myself with breakfast i've got a hell of a lot of housekeeping to do how can one person make this much mess it was just pristine before i got into it by the way i'm gonna have to eat my um my cornflakes with a fork today Just so you know, this whole video was shot on a mobile phone without a tripod because this idiot forgot all of his filming equipment. When I did my media studies course way back when and film school and all of that stuff when I was younger, one of the things that really, really appealed to me was the notion of guerrilla filmmaking. So that being not having uh, money for good equipment or tripods and stuff like that, just having a camera and trying to kind of like get all the angles and everything that you want to do in it's important to have lots of different angles if you're a sincere filmmaker you know that is exactly why you guys are looking at me right now without a tripod as if you were floating in mid-air now how have i done that but let's not break the fourth wall for now that's another film definition right there i'm gonna have to get this solar power up whilst we've got a little bit of sun to power that and look at the difference a bit of sun makes up to 40 35 watts even and 49 watts coming out that's better though isn't it thank you soul this rubber seal's come away so i'm gonna have to fix that today at some point i wish i'd seen this van in her heyday i bet she would have been a beautiful thing to behold now she is unfortunately tired but she's still got life in her yet any old girl do anything with duct tape and a bit of glue Traitorous milk!
This is going to get messy. I'm going to have to do it. You ain't watching that. I'm going to treat myself to that hot chocolate that I really wanted yesterday. Yeah, okay, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Don't you erupt in an explosion of delight. Oh, sorry. Good Lord, man. Ah, dang it. Burn it to the bottom. See, little things like that are a big issue out here. Right, so I'm going to enjoy this rather pale cup of hot chocolate. It still is hot chocolate nonetheless, technically, I guess. And then I'm going to need some supplies. I need more water, kitchen towel, spoon, and all the other stuff I need. Probably some milk as well. And then crack on with a day of metal detecting. Here we go then, fans all sorted. I think I've got my grub ready for later, that's good. But right now, let's just get on and do some nice relaxing metal detecting. That there is a big old bag of bird seed, that is. <laughs> right, Q60 today, let's crack on. Now in theory, we should have better results than yesterday because we had that little bit of uh, rain last night, right? So hopefully... Oh, hello, what are you, straight away? What are you, mate? Oh, just a... Uh... Oh, it's probably part of a buckle at some point. Nothing exciting though. Oh, that's a nice, interesting little buckle. Not a bad start there. Oh, very nice. Oh, that is a big old bit of lead. If you've been watching the recent videos, <coughs> you'll see that I've been keep on finding huge bits of really odd, but man-made lead. And there's one there. It's not even a spindle well, you know? It's not even got a hole in it. It's just round strange piece of lead how weird so this isn't a bad signal so i thought we'd do a livey on it there if i can find it again coming in at a straight 64 so in theory it should be quite nice oh, oh my theory is wrong it's a uh i don't know what it is it's a bit of a mechanical part to something unfortunately and that's just the uh lock cover to a keyhole hey, this is another really nice signal 54 55 strong i thought we'd do a livey on it just in case anything nice comes up that's a really good potent repeatable which is what we're looking for don't feel like it's too deep down. Oh, maybe I'm wrong actually. Uh, being at that, oh, is that a similar a pipe? Pipe there, smoker's pipe, look. That's cool. <laughs> right, okay. Where are you? Oh, here it is there, look. Oh, what is this? Oh. Um, shushy full. It does look like it's got some sort, whatever this is, looks like it's got some sort of pattern in on the side. Looks like it's bronze. Oh no, maybe not. But I think it is a chunk of bronze. Hmm, that's interesting. A piece of bronze like that would just be sitting. Let's give it a quick clean up and see if there's anything on it, shall we? No, 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 it's just an old piece. Yeah, it's just an old piece of bronze. Um, could be a very old piece of bronze. So let's stay around here, shall we? Okay, so here we've got something pretty much sitting on the surface, a pokey little signal it was. It, 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 like that. I think it's probably a button. Yeah, it is a button. Uh, and I don't think there's anything on the front of that button because I just felt the shank on the back. Anything there? No, just a uh, pewter which I can reform into some sort of glorious jewelry. That's yeah, just an old spoon. More like a ladle, Pixie's ladle. Nice markings on it, but not silver, unfortunately. Hello, little fella. Are you okay? You all right? You don't need saving or anything. I think you're okay. I'm just having a little rest there. You look okay. Bumbling about the place. <laughs> oh! And we have ourselves a mystery clod. A clod full of mystery. Exciting, isn't it? Right, what have we got here then? Next one. 
Next. Ooh! Hello! Oh! No, just a button, dudes. Button with nothing on. Button with nothing on. Oh, sickening. Oh, wow, it's another thimble. Absolutely 100% silver this time. And the other one ends up being aluminium, but this is, uh, yeah, it's definitely silver. I feel the weight difference. And it's really in really good condition as well. Apart from that massive dent there. Uh, but the rest of it is gorgeous. Let's dig it out and see if there's a name inside of it, just in case. Nice chunk of silver. And I can't see anything as of yet, but I'll give it a clean up when I get back to the van. And if there is anything in there, I'll give you a shout. That's a lovely find. <laughs> right, so that's just, that's a ring. But I don't think it's a ring ring. Well, it could be a ring ring. No, I don't think it's a ring ring. Ring money? No. Curtain ring? Probably. Oh, hello. What are you then? A metallic swan? <laughs> Pick your eyes out. Hmm, I don't know what it is. Strange thing. Hmm, mystery. We're in the forest now. Just having a little break and cleaning up this little thimble. I love how this little thimble brings us full circle to the beginning of this video where, well not full circle because it's not finished yet, but brings us to a point where it reminds us of the beginning of the video where I was talking about constricting communities, smaller bubbles. This would have been an important little tool within a small community back in the day. Uh, and you would have been quite posh to have a silver one, by the way. And it would have been used on a daily basis to fix things and tend to things, of course. And many people had one, not as posh as a silver one, as it was a very, very important little tool. And that just kind of brings me and centers me in this place. I don't think there's anything inside of it wording wise, but again, if I do find something, I'll give you a shout. I am becoming full wood elf. I was just sitting there, just completely in the zone. Lovely, completely zen, enjoying these woods. And a woman and her dog just walked straight past me. Didn't even notice I was here. Just straight past me. <sighs> I'm becoming invisible, my friends. Ah, that's that trick me. <clears throat> yeah, you know what it is, don't you? There you go. Yeah, I'm not sure what one of them is, but it's definitely too thin to be a key. Looks key-like though, doesn't it? I think that's probably the old uh, mechanisms to an old pocket watch or something, maybe. All right, that was all right-ish. Um, I need to find a place to sleep tonight. I haven't really given it much thought. I don't want to go back there again because I don't like going to two places in unison because, <laughs> well, of humans, basically. So I'm gonna, I think there's somewhere down here. It's all, it's all about internet again, basically. That's how I gauge things. It's kind of public down here, but it might work. The internet doesn't, the internet doesn't seem too bad. It's flat. It's on a pretty busy road, but this is it. This is, this is home for tonight. Oh, by the way, this evening I've opened up the whole cab. Uh, it's not pretty over there. It's kind of pretty over there and the, the middle bit's fine, but that's gonna just give me more space and room to live. Uh, I've never done it. I've never done it. Never had it with it all down. And I'm going to try it tonight. Okay, and the meal for this evening is spinach and ricotta tortelloni with pesto. Yeah. And then, of course, chili and garlic on top. Found my good fork as well. Woohoohoo! I'm hoping that's going to be enough water. I might put a little bit more in there. Get in there, my little Italian friends. Is there going to be too much here? No, we're looking good. That's fine. That's perfect. And do you know what? The, the greatest thing about this place is there's a bin right behind me. Hey, <laughs> hey, are. Now for the pesto. Not easy to do with one hand, as you can imagine. Well, let's, let's come back to this. 
And there we go, yummy. Yeah, look at that, get in there. Eating this beauty whilst watching the sunset. What could be better?